Um, this is just the patterns, radiation patterns of the X pulse 6 antenna since many people are interested in the three dimensional patterns and of course especially how they vary over frequency. So if you firstly look, I've just positioned the antenna below the screen um, showing the orientation of that pattern. So at the moment that pattern is pointing upwards and you can see that it's got this sort of broad beam in the, um, which would be your elevation because this one will typically be mounted vertically up, upright at a home and then a narrower beam um, in the plane going in and out which would be the up and down plane so easy to align while giving quite high gain you can see here the bottom of the band it's at 1732 megahertz um, gain at the top is about 10.4 uh, dbi and where you see it going sort of towards lighter orange thereabouts is the 3 db point which would be about 7 dbi i'm just looking at colors and if we just skip it on in its frequency range that will be at 1900, although the picture size have changed. Notice that the gain is actually, it was about 10.5. It's now gone f uh, full on 11.2, um, which is about mid-band of the, this, what used to be the top um, GSM bands, often used for LTE and other data communication nowadays. Um, side lobes that you can see are actually low. Notice that anything green is at about minus 7, so it's about uh, 15 dB down on the main beam. Um, so even though they look big on the picture, they're quite small, that's the top of the 1900 to 1800 band, uh, gain of 11 dB, still pattern beautifully maintained and that's with both of the antennas. Um, then at the UMTS band, very much same, gain a little bit higher, but pattern maintained in the same shape. Um, that's 2.2 gigs, um, again pattern sitting at about almost 12 dBi, um, well maintained. Uh, that's sitting at 2.3 and like I say, even though it may look a little ugly, gain sitting at 12 dB and the side lobes here still below um, minus 0 dB, so uh, quite low. And that is at the Wi-Fi band, also 11, uh, sorry, close to 12. And then at um, 2.6, it is going to 12 dB, um, pattern maintained in all cases. And there you're sitting also at about 12 dB, and that's at 2.7 giga, uh, gigahertz or 2700 megahertz. The real reason why this antenna is so extremely popular is, of course, because LTE uses MIMO, where the two antennas being properly decorrelated does give you a twice increase on just a normal outdoor antenna. Outdoor antennas by themselves gives you about a 15 dB increase in signal strength and often an increase in speeds of your data of about 10 times if your data signal was weak inside a building.